my presentation yesterday was a, a co-presentation with a, a fellow employee named Ed Atchison. Um, those in the industry may know Ed uh, from the IPC 2581 and from Cadence. Uh, we did a co-presentation on uh, the ECAD, MCAD sort of revolution that's going on in the industry and Cadence answers to that. Um, we introduced uh, some new products. Um, our flow encompasses a new library tool that will help designers uh, create their uh, step models, um, both for the ECAD side as well as for the MCAT side. Uh, we introduced our new 3D Canvas, which is an interactive uh, 3D working environment in the Allegro tool, as well as the new ECAD MCAD flow within Allegro, so that uh, somebody working on a design on the ECAD side can communicate seamlessly with the MCAD partner on the other end. Uh, no longer would they have to export and import um, files. It's all done seamlessly through a push-pull uh, mechanism that uh, notifies both the MCAD designer and the ECAD designer. So we just wanted to enlighten the uh, attendees that uh, you know, we're, we're on top of the ECAD, MCAD game. Cadence realizes the importance of the sort of the intertwining between ECAD and MCAD. In the, in, the, in the Cadence platform, we're not going to replicate what's going on in the MCAD world, but we want to give designers the ability to do um, First, what you know, see what's uh, how it fits. Uh, collision checks, um, kind of bring some of the elements from the MCAT world uh, into the ECAT space to minimize the iterations going back and forth. Um, we feel that our uh, offerings allow designers to save iterations and uh, ultimately reduce their design cycle. Most designers have been used to what we call 2D-centric libraries. So they create a footprint and that's all they see it in 2D. Um, right now, most librarians are turning their 2D-centric libraries into 3D-centric libraries. So they have the, the planar footprint, but on top of that, we're, they're adding step models, which is a, a 3D visualization of the actual component. So they, they can see what it looks like in 3D. So if you embed your, the step models into their footprints, when they put it into the design, they can then go into our new 3D canvas and visualize their designs in 3D. Um, conversely, with our new 3D canvas, we can take rigid flex designs, which I'm sure Sierra makes a lot of, and they can bend them into their final state and do collision checks between the step models. So, a step model is just another representation of the actual part in the software arena. Upcoming trends, um, things are getting smaller. Uh, miniaturization, uh, it's almost like the chip world is meeting the PCB design world. You know, um, and so rigid flex is, is big. Uh, the ECAD, MCAD sort of intertwining is becoming big. Signal and integrity, which, we, which Cadence plays a big role in, is, is a must now. Even in the simplest boards, if you don't, you know, you don't do signal integrity, uh, you're in trouble. Uh, so sort of all those worlds are meeting each other. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's morphing into, uh, into something that's very, very interesting. And I'm, I'm glad that I'm part of it with Cadence.